Off feel. Left. What I want. YouTube, what's going on? It's Juan Gotti here. We another Washington Commanders video, and in today's video, I'm coming on here with the video where we're going to be talking about where have this Bama wall been? Deron Payne, Jonathan Allen, they have been MIA this whole season. Am I the only one that feel like that? Let's talk about it. But before we do, make sure you guys go down below, leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel if you are new. We're on the road to 7,000 subscribers, so please hit that subscribe button again if you haven't already. Thank you so much. Let's get straight into today's video. Now, skip forward. Here is a message right here. If you don't want to hear any announcements that I have to make, skip forward through the video. That's your warning. Now, I got a couple things I want to say before we get to today's video. First things first, I will be getting back consistent with weekly live streams i'm gonna keep it 100 with y'all because you know that's what i do on this channel i'm very transparent and open and real the reason why i've got away from being consistent with weekly live streams is because no one seems to tune into them we know the live streams are for us to have a back and forth and a conversation and honestly speaking if nobody watches the live stream i can just make a youtube video right but the live streams is for us to have a fun and i in an interacting conversation so i'm gonna get back consistent with that and then hopefully you guys tune in so starting tomorrow i will be going live at 7 p.m maybe we make it a weekly thursday thing give you guys something to watch prior to thursday night football maybe uh thursday will be the day uh that we do that but i just want to go live so we can have a conversation about this team and about the nfl uh, next things um i will be finally launching memberships here soon on the channel now memberships is something that i've been looking at for a long time now and it's something that i've been able to drop but i haven't done that for the simple reason that i didn't want to just drop memberships and you guys buy a membership and it's like all right i'm just a member i wanted to make it to where you buy this membership because you're you 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 want to when you're getting a you're have a you know, reason to buy them right you're not just buying it just to buy it to say yeah I bought it like I wanted to make I want to make you want to buy it you feel me like I don't want it just to be a thing where yeah I'm a member and that's it I want to make you be interested in buying it so comment down below what are some things that would make you want to buy a membership of this channel maybe a weekly live stream that we that we all get on here together and we talk about the team and more so other things maybe some giveaway ways of, of jerseys and some things and other fun cool video exclusive videos that you only will be having access to if you're a member of the channel access to if you're a member of the channel exclusive videos exclusive uh content and and interviews and more so anything better and more to the channel that that you won't be able to get it unless you're a part of the membership team so i will be launching that very soon with you guys help down below in the comment section let me know what i should should include to the memberships and what is something that would make you want to buy a membership please comment down below <laughs> because some of y'all don't be wanting to comment i don't know why but please now that, that out of the way let's go ahead and throw these headphones on and get to it i love hearing myself that's why i wear the headphones so deron Payne, jonathan allen the bama wall where the heck have they been this season? Am I the only one that feel like that? These guys have been MIA, missing in action, man. Deron Payne, Jonathan Allen were the two guys that got paid and the two guys that were supposed to be the leaders of this defensive line. Now, clearly, they were going to take a hit because they didn't have Dur Jonathan Allen or um, Chase Young and Montez Sweat, but... They still were supposed to be leaders on this front line. And to be honest with you, they have not been that good this year. I don't know what's the reasoning, but I feel like it, it has to do with, let's just call it what it is. They're getting shut down. They're getting shut down. And that's one thing that we have to start to come to grips with is that this team, just like other teams in the league, yeah, we have talent, but it's other teams around the league that also have talent. So, yeah, we got two dogs in the middle, or at least we think we have two dogs in the middle. 
that doesn't mean that you don't come across other teams that have great offensive linemen too. These guys get paid just like how Jonathan Allen and Deron Payne get paid. So they're they, quite frankly they're getting shut down, right? Two, I do feel as though Deron Payne is suffering from the loss of Montez Sweat because they those guys was in cahoots like no other, right? And it's definitely harder when you don't have guys around you that are as good as you because now it puts more work on you and it allows the defensive line um, or offensive line, rather, to just key in on you. And when it's double-teaming you, double-teaming Jonathan Allen, you are now going to be taking out the play, and then it's going to look like you're not doing anything. Now, I'm going to keep it a whole hundred with you, bro. They're not getting double-teamed every play. And the same energy that I've had for Chase Young and Montez Sweat when it came to them not being double-teamed every play is the same energy that I'm going to have for them. There's no excuses. You got paid the big bucks you need to perform. Deron Payne used to be the guy that even when he didn't get sacks, he still was interrupting the game by QB hits, by de deflecting passes, by just doing extra things to know that uh, that he's there more so than just sacks. And it hasn't been a lot of that consistently at all this year. Deron Payne has definitely regressed. Now, I didn't expect for him to have 11 and a half sacks again because, again, that is just ridiculous amount for a defensive tackle in the first place. So I didn't expect him to have uh, 11 and a half sacks again, but I definitely expected him to have more than one and I expected for him for him to have more than Q uh, uh more than a couple QB hits. Deron Payne has definitely decreased this year and that's not to say that he can't get back to where he was at last year at some point, but it's getting late for this season. Deron Payne, Jonathan Allen, they're both not living up to what their contracts say at this point. Now I feel like for Jonathan Allen and something that we have to take into account is that I don't think he's 100%. If you guys can remember correctly, back in late um training camp days right where around the second preseason game Jonathan um Ron Rivera came out and said Jonathan Allen was dealing with a plantar uh fasciitis or facetis I don't know how you pronounce that word I'm gonna keep it a old buck with you but mind you I'm just gonna read it to you it is a uh foot injury and it takes about six weeks to heal now you gotta think about it okay Juan they six weeks to heal shouldn't be nothing they got the best trainers in the world which is is true guys which is true however you got to think they're not getting much rest off this is like six weeks including let you know rest they're not getting much rest off every day this happened in the midst of training camp and preseason every day they're working every day they're working and then you get to the season you don't have no time off in the season especially these guys they barely come off the field so i don't think jonathan allen is healthy now is that an excuse not at all jonathan allen still has to perform and if you ask jonathan allen himself i'm pretty sure he's still going to tell you he has to perform, but I don't think Jonathan Allen is 100%, and I think that's what's really messing him up, uh, specifically. But other than that, again, I just think more so than anything else, sounding like Ron Rivera here, they're just getting shortstop, bro. Like, they're getting double teamed, even when they're getting their one on ones, they're not winning, okay? They're not winning, bro. And again, it doesn't help. When you say what you want about Chase Young, say what you want about Montez Sweat, about them not getting home, about them not getting sacks, whatever, they allowed Jonathan Allen and Deron Payne to eat and, and get these one-on-ones and feast. When you don't no longer have to worry about a Chase Young and a Montez Sweat, you now then could double team both of them. Both of the both of the guard the both guard and center could take out Jonathan Allen, right? And then, then the right guard take out Deron Payne and potentially take the tackle, right? Tackle can help him too because it's like, look, <laughs> this is James Smith Williams. I got to worry about that. He ain't nothing. This F.A. Obama, Casey Tuhill, they ain't nothing. So I don't really got to worry about him. We got to worry about these two guys in the middle. Right, so it, it, it's just I feel like again, like I made about the earlier video, the lack of talent around him is also affecting Deron Payne and Jonathan Allen. Like these are defensive tackles. Like these aren't guys. This isn't Aaron Donald defensive tackle. This is Jonathan Allen, Deron Payne we're talking about. So these guys aren't just these straight up monsters, right? These guys are 
good, but they're not monsters. So they're not going to win, uh, be a dynamic pass rusher from the interior um, anymore because of they have a much more workload than what they would have had if Montez Plantation was still here, right? And that, that's why I think that's what happened, and that's my personal opinion. I think they just are getting shut down. They're not winning their one-on-ones. Uh, their uh, offensive linemen are able to key more on them due to the fact that they don't have nobody on the edges to worry about anymore. And I don't think Jonathan Allen is healthy. Um, that's just my thinking, though. Maybe he is healthy. And if he's healthy, then it's just bad overall Then more so than anything else because Jonathan Allen uh, should be winning. And he'll tell you. If he's 100%, he'll tell you he should be winning. Right? Now, I'm going to go ahead and read this stat off for you. Um, This may not be good, okay, so be beware that this is bad. Deron Payne has not laid a hit on an opposing quarterback since week five and hasn't recorded a sack since week two. So Deron Payne has been non-existent. Jonathan Allen had a QB pressure of 11.9 in the first five games of the season, but overall the past five games, the rate has fell to 7.6%. These guys have been missing in action for a long time now, and it's to the point where I'm almost expecting them to just not show up, right? I'm just expecting them not to show up. We don't have nobody on this defensive line that's dogs, that's creating pressure, right? That's that's getting after the quarterback. Like We don't have none of that, and that's including the battle wall. That's very frustrating because you're paying these guys to be – Amazing, and they're not. Not right now. So we'll see what's going on. We'll see if they can turn it around for the last couple of games of the season, but um, it's not looking good, and these guys are having a down year. But what says you out there in the comment section? Leave it down below. What do you think about the Bama Wall? Why do you feel like John and I and Deron Payne aren't having a good as a season as they should um, or we expected them to? Leave your comments and thoughts down below. As always, me and boy Juan Gotti, like, comment, subscribe. Hail to the Washington Commanders. We're on the road to 7,000 subscribers, so please hit that subscribe button again if you haven't already. We should be getting there as soon as possible, man. It's free. And also, don't forget, I'll be going live tomorrow at 7 p.m. So, see y'all later. As always, me and boy Juan Gotti. Peace.